In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the pricing table of your premium price theme. So let's get started. Firstly, log into the admin area of your WordPress website. We click on premium press. We click on design. And we use the red edit design option here. Click edit pages. And in this video, we're going to be concentrating on the ad listing page. Now, if we click view, we can see the current options we've got. So this is the current page we've got. So as you can see in front of me, this is the current pricing plan and pricing table setup we've got. Now I'll show you in a minute how to edit the actual content within the pricing table. But firstly, I want to go ahead and change the pricing table. So the first thing I'm going to do is go back to the admin and instead of clicking view, I'm going to click on edit. Now, because I have Elementor installed, you can see there's a little Elementor icon. When I go ahead and click edit, it's going to load it into Elementor and give me the option to customize it using Elementor. So because we're in Elementor, I can just click it once. On the left hand side here, we can see the styles we've got. Now, if I click change design, I now have an option to change to a completely different design. So as you can see on the left hand side, I have lots of different options. So I can just click on a design that I like and instantly the options in the left hand side will change. So if I just widen this out slightly, you can see the actual um, pricing plan tables here have all changed. Now again, I can completely change it. I can change, change design. I can select a different one. So I can try a style 10. It's going to load it in. Again, I can preview it in full view. So there you go. That's what the pricing table would look like. And okay, I like this one and I'm going to go ahead and save it. So I click on update at the bottom, I click update. And now when I go back to my website and give it a refresh, you can see we're now instantly using the new pricing plan tables. Now, some of the great new features within the premium press admin give you the ability to add your own text, change some of the icons, and obviously the general color and theming for the actual pricing table. So let me go ahead and show you where those are modified. Again, back to the admin area, we'll start on the dashboard. We click on premium press, we click settings, and this time we scroll all the way down and click listing settings. Now if I scroll down, halfway down this page, you can see this is where all the listing packages are set up. And these refer to the options that are currently on the listing page here. So if we view the actual listing page, let's bring it in. Okay, so these are the three packages I currently have. I have free, featured, and sponsored. And these um, relate directly to these options here, free. So if I just click it once, I have the options to change the icon, the name, select if it's highlighted, a description, and I can enter my own custom display text. And as you can see this, my custom text here, this is what will be displayed when you enter your own information here. Scrolling down slightly, obviously we have a price. If you're going to be setting it as a recurring payment, make sure you turn this option on here. And we have additional options that are um, linked to the actual package. So if a user um, creates a package with this, this set option, they have X amount of images, video uploads, listing, homepage, featured, etc., etc. So using the options in the admin here, we can customize the content within the actual um, pricing table itself. And using Elementor or any of the uh, design options, you can then change the actual design option for the actual um, display of the actual pricing table.